I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play The Guild 3. This game has had a bit of a troubled development history, and uh, I guess it's finally done, and it's better, uh, according to the reviews. It's, uh, it's a much better game than it was. Um, it's in full release now, and I have only played the tutorial mission, and from what I can tell, it's very similar to The Guild 2 with mostly improvements to the UI, which is pretty much what I want. So we're going to start a new game, and we will start with, oh, let's, I don't know, should we start with a really big one? Let's see, that's 14, that's 18. I've not looked at any of these maps. This one makes me think that this is going to have... It's going to be like that Guild 2 map where there's three separated places I'm going to be running all over there. Um, well, let's give it a shot anyway, why not? Uh, okay, so I, when I played the Guild 2, uh, twice now <laughs> on this channel, uh, I went for, I think it was Warmonger, one of these, where I basically killed everybody. Uh, this time I think I'm just going to aim for being Sovereign. I think it'll be a much shorter Let's Play, and if everything goes well, we'll just uh, play the game again at some point. Anyway, here we go. So, let's pick a coat of arms like that one. Uh, there's a new religion in this one, Secular Christian. So we'll pick the neutral. And uh, at the risk of being boring, I think Crude Craftsman is the best one to start out with. Uh, it's generic, yes, but it guarantees that you are making products that will make money. So we'll perhaps find somebody else to take over one of these things. Otherwise, it kind of looks like everything is more or less the same. Um, I guess, you know, if you consider the Guild 2 had a couple expansions, it added quite a few uh, classes in here. But we'll start with Crude Craftsman. And... Do you want to trade? What do you want? <laughs> I mean, that sounds more like me, I guess. Uh, let's see. So, pick... I don't know, that face. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Everyone else is kind of... Isn't he? This one shows our ambition. Um, okay, and then as far as skills go, we'll just keep everything as is. So here we go. Familiar sounds. But yes, as I was saying, from what I can tell, uh, and especially how the tutorial walks you through what ex it expects you to do in the game, uh, it's all pretty much exactly how the Guild 2 runs. Um, but like I said, the interface uh, makes things much nicer. So hopefully that will be a, a more enjoyable experience. I know that a lot of people have commented the on the... And e What's up? Okay. A lot of people have commented on, on my Guild 2 videos that um, it's a very confusing game. <laughs> and then they thanked me for being able to walk through on it. So first thing we got to do uh, is turn down the speed because... No Damn it. Uh, normal speed is, uh, holy crap, is too fast. And unfortunately, unlike the, uh, the Guild 2, rather, uh, you cannot do anything while the game is paused. So I guess that helps a little bit with the cheating. Now, this is my House of Fleas. We start outside, uh, well, we start outside two cities. That's okay, okay. Well, I haven't seen this map before, as I said, and uh, yeah... Okay, so we we start out in what the the game considers the village, or the yeah the village, and then inside the walls are the city, and then inside the castle walls, I guess this one doesn't seem to have these uh, patrician houses inside. Some maps do. Well, the tutorial map does, I guess. Um, but basically, in this game, you are kind of limited actually in uh, what you can do. Uh, as, as far as building, um, unlike the, the Guild 2 where you can just build uh, uh, wherever you want and uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, evolve that building, um, some certain buildings can only be built in the walls and outside the walls, and we need to begin and stop fussing about. So we'll start a crude craftsman hut here. Uh, we can rename it. It'll just be the Bloody Thumb because that's a fun little joke there. Um, I mean, I guess I may as well just make it next door. Here's not too bad, seeing how it's literally right here. Um, so that that's good. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. Let me, yeah, let's just build right next door. Okay. Um, so in the Guild 2, you got a cart. You got to manually tell people to come pick up your goods. Let's uh, get this going a little bit faster here. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Um, 
so you got to tell people to pick up your goods, take it to market, yada, yada, yada. In this one, you just hire a transporter and they will manually do it. So the shorter your distance between your business and the marketplace, the better. So this will be pretty good for me here. So we've got the business building very slowly, which is good because now I want to go, how do I find, I guess I do it here, romance. Let's find us a romance. We are looking for... Well, I guess I don't really know. Uh, so this is their level. This is their age. And uh, I feel like it's going to be harder to convince someone with a higher level to marry me. But I do not necessarily know that is the case. Actually, wow. we should maybe be yes. looking here. Um, okay. High intelligence. Okay. So in this game, uh, productivity is tied, as it says there, to dexterity and intelligence. So those are the kind of the scores I'm looking for first, because I'm probably going to have my spouse working in those areas. Um, strength, see, that's more of a combat thing. What is it? What? Also, ooh, charisma. Flexibility, use facial expressions and gestures, so that might help her to... Uh, get office. She's already got 94 productivity, but it's still pretty low as well. She's also got a bonus to armor based upon her garments, I guess. Um, she is, however, Catholic. Now, I think it was saying that the Catholics care more about religious compatibility and all that stuff, so we should maybe look on. Okay, there's an intelligence and charisma. She's also Catholic. I don't think they care too much if I'm neutral, so... Do I dare go for a level yeah, 5? She's got intelligence. What is it? Ooh, okay. Let's try this one. Lisa lives in Lubeck. Uh, Lisa, okay. Lisa, yeah, Lisa. Yeah. Wait, I didn't see what religion yeah, she was. Yeah. She is agnostic? I, I don't know. She doesn't have a religion. That's fine, too. Um, her stealth is high. Interesting. I wonder if she's going to be reputation bonus. So, what's effect of reputation? Is she a criminal? I don't know. Anyway, let's let's give her a shot. I won't take long. Confirm. <laughs> you were you were very optimistic, sir. And I guess we'll just let it go um, at normal speed because I can't go do anything else until certain things have been done. So let's see. Vacant offices. Uh, they lie. I see no vacant offices. Hmm. Why aren't those going away? There we go. Let's right-click them. And apparently Lubeck is way the hell over there. Dude. Alright. Well, Gaz will be back in a while. Let's go ahead and uh, pick that up then. Pick up the speed a little. Because we want this to be making me money while he's off. Romancing. A new building has been okay, finished. let's cut that down to maybe half speed. Okay, so very confusing uh, <laughs> little little interface down here. You want to open the building to be able to do anything. First thing we want to do is hire a transporter for the monies, and then hire a worker for the monies. You can use that interface or this button right here to assign a family member to do it. And Let's see. I guess we'll just straight up start making daggers. Let's make, uh, let's make, let's make 20. Okay. So what's awesome about this game compared to the Guild 2 is that all you have to do is put in the end product you want and they will take care of the rest. They will say, oh, we need to go get some iron and he'll go off and buy iron. They'll uh, notice that you have extra stuff in production and they'll go and sell it immediately. Um, you can apparently upgrade them. They, they do it by foot when they start out, so you can apparently upgrade them then with a cart. Um, and then you can set all sorts of parameters like storage, how much minimum storage. Um, right now it doesn't look like we have... We, we're not allowing any daggers to be in minimum storage, and we are upkeeping 10 to 20 flax. I'm going to actually lower this because... Initially, it is very, very difficult to make profit. So, since we're literally right next to the market, I want him running back and forth uh, more frequently. And then here's the storefront. So the storefront is obviously where people come into your shop and they can buy things from you. Uh, by default, your settings will be set to like two of a product. So we'll already have two sitting out front here. Um, by default, yeah, a whole lot of parameters. And I haven't really looked at it because the tutorial didn't require that. Um, 
But anyway, where are we? No, I really can't get away from here right now. Oh yeah. We'll constantly be told, I can't do shit because you've given me an order already. Man, Lubeck. Yeah, that's... God, I, why couldn't I have been spawned here? Why did I choose someone who lived in a very far away town? What town does this... I assume this one. Which is... Ooh. Um, I don't know. I can't tell right now. We started a conversation. Okay, here's a here's a little bit of a difference. Oh boy. Um, so we can woo with different stats and hope that they help out. And right now they're really not. Um, I guess I mean I have the same choice. Smart people should stick together. What was her highest stat? It was intelligence, right? Maybe we should go for that. My lady. I want to spend more of my time exchanging thoughts with you. How's this gonna go? The music, by the way, is not the game music. Um, I learned my lesson from the guild, too, as far as copyright is concerned. So we are listening to Kevin McLeod. Yes, why not? Hooray! So that worked. Uh, shall we compliment her? Okay, so the tutorial says you need to do two compliments and give gifts. Oh, foolish, foolish fool, foolish fool. Yes, esteemed lord. We'll compliment you once. Um, I forgot to bathe myself and get gifts for the candle in my darkness. My lady, it's only sixty-one percent. I don't like this. Me. I might just lose everything I got. What are you... All right, excuse me? Okay, so there's a, a certain time to do things, but we can also skip forward on this. I don't fall for your amateur... Uh, <laughs> yeah, she might be hard just because of her level. Minus 10, so she's probably back down to relationship of... Uh, I guess that's that. Relationship score went back down to zero. Okay. Time to go home, sir. Um, no pain, no gain. Because you are a stinky potatoes. bastard. What are potatoes? Are they edible? I am pretty hungry right now. Maybe I could find someone who lives a little bit closer. Uh, let's check out this map, though, for real. Like, where am I? Okay, I'm in I'm in Pink Town. We're coming over to... I, I, what? What is... What is yellow? She lived in Lubeck, so this is Lubeck. There, oh, it says right there. Okay. Keel. Um, Alright. We'll see if maybe we can't find someone there. I mean, you know, there's no there's no harm in starting over because I'm back to zero, so... Um, yeah, crap. Well, that's a bad news, Bears. Um, because that just means I wasted all that time running, and what do we have here? A yes. robber camp right next door. Ay ay ay. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Can I... I can't run for office. There's nothing available yet. So, you have to do thing in tiers. But it is not, like, this bottom row first to then get into these offices. You can get into an office as long as it's within the same ring, but you have to hit the bottom ring first, then the second ring, then that one, and then ultimately, hopefully, Sovereign. So, I got a little ahead of myself. Uh, let's see, I've got some money. Oh, not very much money, though. Let's click on this, and let's check out our profit margin here. Uh, oh yeah. Our building is bad. Okay, let's speed this up to times two, and let's see if we can't find ourselves... I really can't get away from here, right? Uh, another romance in the meantime. Beatrice. La, la, la. Okay, she got high dexterity, so she, yeah, she'd be good for, like, if I was going to make a robber. Okay, hold on, Gaz is back. Let's, let's have you come in here, sir. So, um... I'm not now, No, you're not. I, I mistook you for one of my, my people. Okay, well, how about we do this instead? So, uh, even your house has, uh, the ability to assign people as a worker, which is a little different than the guild, too. But we will have Gaz work at his own home, so I have access to the things I would like to do here. In particular, what I want to do is make one flannel. And again, I'm just basing this purely off what the tutorial had me do. And two flowers. And uh, so he'll build that once he gets there. 
and maybe even, a... let me check out what I've got going on here. Uh, so we built two of the daggers. If I get them to be stuck in the storefront, I can go and equip one of those. And I would probably like to have that happen as well. Okay, so he's going to do his thing. I'm, uh, I'm not now, please. Okay, he's coming back. He's a very flustered individual, isn't he? Let's find someone else. Petra, the, uh, I think, is that the one, the one no, person what? who's sitting? Oh, yeah, she's right there. What is it? Oh, she has no charisma whatsoever. That's going to hurt in the political arena, so let's not do that. I wish you could uh, sort this, so maybe I had a, a better chance here. Did I try her? Did we just go find, talk to Ella? No, her stats are different. She is, however, desirable for the four and five. Okay, well, think about Ella. Barbara. Okay, Barbara's pretty average across all that. That's not too bad, though. She is Lubeck, and she has a romantic preference. Would enjoy a slightly more intimate approach. Ooh, saucy. Maybe we'll go for Barbara here. She's got strength. What? Suna? Suna has a bonus from a torch that she is wandering around. Yeah, that's something I noticed, too. Um, if you pay attention outside... I don't... We're, we're following her. I need to go back outside here. Um, if you pay attention, for whatever reason, people will just start running around town carrying torches, like her, for example, and you think, oh, what is she about to set on fire? No, she's just wandering around with a torch. It's, it's very bizarre. Um, where right. are you, sir? Hmm? You're here. Um, please get to work? Did you already do it? Jesus. Okay, we gotta check. You, you didn't do it. Yes? <laughs> This is not an auspicious start here. I am trying to teach people how to play this game. <sighs> Which, honestly, just just do the tutorial. Um, it tells you literally everything that I could possibly teach you. Or just watch, better yet, better yet, watch my old Let's Plays of the Guild too, And they're pretty much the same game. Okay, anyway, you're doing that. Like I said, we need to get back I'm, into uh, this habit of... Engaged. Trying to find somebody... Has the order changed again? So, Ella or Barbara... Oh, sh oh, okay, never mind. I thought, level 17! Not even paying attention to myself here. Uh, was it Lena? Lena's got good charisma. She's Catholic. I didn't see... What is Barbara? Barbara is uh, a hedonist, so actually... Let, let, let's give Barbara a try. Once we've got our items. Uh, we'll speed this up just a bit. I apologize for the music. I'm going to have to actually get another playlist. Make sure I myself am doing this. Okay, so this is a little bit confusing here, but here's all your stuff in the storage. Uh, we will go ahead and how? I want to do this. I need to take those. And then I need to take... I made two flannels. Did I mean to do that? Oh, shoot. It looks like I doubled up on all this. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just take one for now. And then we need to pick Gaz, pick an item, and then yeah. bathe. We can go in and watch if we really want to. I said we can go in and we can go in and watch if we really want to. There we go. As he slowly bathes himself. Perfect. Okay. He's all bathed and shiny. He's perfumed, and that will help give us the bonus. Now. So let's have you head off, and let's find that Barbara. What is it? Uh, well, Please go try it. She is, as I say, living all the way back in Lubeck, but hopefully uh, hopefully this will build up my little, uh, my strength or my dexterity or my endurance or whatever the hell stat I've got. I'm busy. I don't think it does that. So, um, right. Yeah, well, I'm basically just waiting now to speed that up. The game will tell me when someone's engaged in a conversation, so we'll, uh, we'll let that go. I think I've got the bagpipes on just a little loud. There's a vacant office. Why do you keep telling me this? I guess I can run against somebody and just wait. They might not make their election. I really can't get away from here right now. Yeah, this is actually a pretty bad start. Somebody's getting a wedding. You can hear the church bells. Oh, she's... Target failure because she's in church. Ay, 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 ay. Let's try this again. Barbara. Ah, yes. Good. Now we're talking. 
literally. Hello, Barbara. Um, let's see. Okay, how about this? I would like to ask your permission. My eyes fill with tears of joy when I gaze upon your... I love you freely and do anything you ask of me. Wow. Starting off with a strong card there. He looks pretty weathered for... What was she, 17? Certainly, you have my permission. Shall we talk now? <laughs> Shall we talk about my wishes now? Oh my. Can't help right now. Um, right. Okay. Again, let's slow this down. Let's now try flirting with her. Yeah, Lisa. My Sorry, Lisa. I won't say long. You're too finicky. Okay, 77%. You are my precious stone. My lady. She does like I the little uh, forward the approach there. This might be auspicious. Okay, let's just do it normal speed here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna kill myself here. I don't fall for your oh, come on! The tutorial made me think that this was going to be much, much easier. How about... Let's see. We give this to My you. Pleasure. Yes, sir. Maybe maybe I should have opened with this. Would like to offer you this gift. Success! Okay. Now, unfortunately, I can't spam that. So now we got to try complimenting her again. Actually, wait a minute. Sweet talking. How about we try sweet talking? To see I won't say long. Right in the church. If this the is a bad deal. To fall from heaven. You would fill the seas with this might be a risk here. Uh, it was an absolute... What? I'm wounded because of my charisma? I've been waiting for you. I won't say long. This is incredibly awkward. You are so beautiful and educated. You are the best woman in any field. You are the loveliest of women. Your family is a real blessing for this city. My charisma is healed. <laughs> my ego is saved. Me. Oh, there you go. Okay. I don't know why she didn't really... Uh, I love how we're all just... <laughs> everyone's flirting in a church. I guess in these days, this is how you met people. Okay. I've been waiting So she's... Back at relationship zero. Didn't I get 30 for giving her flowers? Oh, this is going to be much tougher than I thought. Alright, we'll give her these flowers and then... Uh, Jiminy Crips. Let, let me look at this again. Do I owe the honor? Would enjoy a cautious approach contrary to good behavior. The hell does that mean? What's up? Her affection's going up, though. So I guess it's, affection is not related to our reputation with her? Yeah. I don't know. She seems to enjoy flowers, so maybe we'll just we spam just that. I do have two more. I do have two more. Yes, my heart. I wish you could see that outside. New professional level. Okay, Wait we'll be me. back in a moment. Um, so yeah, people people seem to level up pretty darn quickly here, and we'll level your intelligence since that is tied to your uh, production levels. And back to yes, a romantic drama. Um, kiss on the cheek. I mean, maybe this is bad news inside of a... Makes them blush. Loving words and hints about what you would like to do when you're alone. Friendly word in the right time will increase your popularity. The object of your flattery may also reject. Well, let's try it again. We're pretty high now, so maybe... Certainly. Like how we just make her... The poems of a hundred poets wouldn't begin to grasp the fullness of your beautiful face. Are you saying my face is full? Are you calling me fat? You flatter me. Hey, she liked it. Thank Good. You very much. Okay. So yeah, even we we can get rid of uh, the conversation, but we're still stuck in it. Now. What's up? How, how else do I find this? Romances. There we go. She's almost ready to go. One more flower ought to do it for sure, but I feel like that's a waste. Although you know, I've got that. How about? Let's try. Let's try sweet talking. Yes, my hero. I'm hurrying. Perfume has evaporated. My charisma dropped. Quick! I'm stinky. I'm stinky now. Ah, oh, shit. She hates that. God damn it. This is, uh, this is a little more complicated than... That's okay. That's okay. We ought to be able to get her with one more bouquet. And we're ready to go. Yes, my hero. Of course. Please, accept this mod. 
Success. Okay. What's up? Now, sir. Propose. Uh. Propo propose. I guess it's here. But you have Ernst. Some joy to my day. Oh, you son of a bitch. I thank you. Yes, dearest. That's, I won't take long. that's my to be you're talking to there. Target is busy. You son of a bitch. Yes. You, you bastard. Yeah, no, I am. Okay, Pullman. Pullman is one of the families we are immediately going to uh, feud. Yes, my Will do. <sighs> yep. This is really goddamn annoying. Yes, dearest. Yes, sir. Would you be my wife? Would you marry me? I don't know what the difference is between the two. Come along. Yes, I want to marry you. Yay! God, I don't have nearly as much money as in the tutorial. We might. This might be very pricey. May as well get married now. Yes, dearest. Certainly. If I gave you my hand, only fifty coins. Would you take my love? I We're want here. to marry you with a ceremony in a church. I am very pleased with this decision, my dear. Yay! It's uh, and the music has stopped. There we go. Welcome to the house of God. Oh, it's the goofy what song too. What church do for you today? Come along. Uh, church wedding, please. So be it. The wedding has taken place. Huzzah. We are gathered together today to join these two people <laughs> in the bonds of... Too bad, Ernst. Too bad. Are you stealing from her? What are you doing? Freak? And you? Do you wish to take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? To love and honor till that? death do you part? If so, answer with yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. And you, do you wish to take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and honor yes. till death do you pass? So shut, be shut up and do it. I hereby declare you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Four percent for excellent genes. Hooray! All right. So now we have to do dynasties, and let's go make What's some that? babies. Good. We're not getting any younger. In fact, I think she just aged up while we were there. How do I get out of this damn building? Oh yes, and Gaz is leveled up. Excellent. Let's put this into dexterity. Yeah, dexterity. Excellente. All right. Back home they go, uh, which is oh oh excellent excellent. We just live right next door to this. Fan I'm, uh, has otherwise engaged. Dick. Oh right, we were we were in town here. We got married at the church, not the chapel. This is uh, we could have been married here. I think. Or does this belong to somebody? This looks like it belongs to somebody, so maybe that's... Okay. Because that was kind of a thing in, in the other uh, game as well. Was that somebody could own a church and chapel, and that was their business, therefore you couldn't do anything. The Guldenheimers have a new title. That's not good, but... What are these bastards? This guy... Trying to just butt right in there. Pullman. 61 score for relationships. Ernst. It doesn't look like he's got a right hand yet. I don't even know if his... F There's one adult in his dynasty. How many are in his total family, though? Hmm. I Where dost like thou live, Mr. Pullman? I am in your captivating presence. Petra. La, 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 the woman with absolutely no charisma. She's 15. Yes, why not? All right, Pullman. Sounds like uh, sounds like he's getting hitched though. I'm, I'm a bit I was about to take right him now. out and wipe out his dynasty before he even had a chance. Let's come back to the house here of the bloody thumbs and what's our money here? All right. Uh, well, we're making some profit though, so that's good. Ooh, oh crap though. 
So the game, um, unlike unlike the Guild 2, which constantly screams at you when it's like, oh god, you, you don't have resources, or, you know, some, every, every little thing that happens, the game tells you. This one, eh, not so much. Sh Shrankman. Okay, oh, and here we go. Some, oh, who? Uh, I think I've got this set by the default, which is that every season advances two years, which is aimed at getting you to grow your family faster, like your other dynasty members will grow faster, but it also means that you have less time to make money. I'm not sure if it scales. I didn't pay attention to that. I'm not sure if it scales the, um, the, the amount of money you get. You know, like it, the game would anticipate if you were only doing one year at a time, uh, you know, you'd, you'd make so much money. But at two years at a time, maybe you can make more in between. City, Legate. And we should probably add Barbara. I really can't get away from here right now. To the roster, so I can have her do stuff. And we're following her, and we're going up to the attic. Uh, let's see, we have a workbench in there. We've got our budget book in here. I'm only going to imagine that as we upgrade our, oh yeah, as we upgrade our uh, family and all, our, our, and our house, uh, that we will have more rooms, just like in the guild too. But if that is the case, I would perhaps like to move closer to a city, sell some things. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit, and as soon as we have an heir, We'll work on the rest. In the Someone is expecting, a baby. Someone's expecting a baby. Congratulations, Barbara and Gaz are expecting a child. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, excellent, I guess. Um, we don't have a whole lot of money right now. In order to even run for office, I think I need the title of citizen. And if we look here, um, the next title I can get is just commoner. Which is a thousand gold. It's going to be a while before we can get to citizen. In fact, why don't we? Why don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. I wish there was a, fa a better way to, to get the speed. If we go here, uh, town clerk requires citizen. Yeah. So like we're going to be spending thousands of dollars just to even get the privilege to do that, Ernst. Oh. I have been waiting for you. Ooh, that's sinister. You son of a. Okay. Um. Shoot. Where does he live? How do I see that again? So he is... Wow. Oh, okay, never mind. He lives over in by Lubeck. All right, all right. Well, maybe I'm the asshole for coming over and, and poaching in another town or something, but yeah, he's... Uh... I am here, dear lady. What did you call me? Hmm. He's off trying to romance as well, it would seem. Protestant, and he's squeaky clean. Oh, yeah, he's off to romance. So maybe if I'm lucky and I hurry, I can run over here, grab myself a knife, and go do the deed. I guess I don't have any in storage, so we've we've constructed 20 um, in this order. So I, I'm going to have to pay attention to that. And then they're all sleeping right now. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot to upgrade. Um, I mean, Jesus, look at this, just to get another worker. This would actually be a good investment, though. Uh, get another worker so we can make more uh, faster, especially when one has to be sleeping. But, uh, you know, I've also got a healthy body myself and a wife. So we have we have workers for free and we can start working towards getting some money and getting a title and getting into politics and all that good stuff. So I will end this one here. I will see you next time.